de ba ye kene de mono asim ka nko ye chiri ya zelo asim mono tutu oma e ife oma mbo de oma stane ebi si wene sere enu bo sin keta na eastern is 24 ay sinon ya dero nyobu na na mma kada bundi ne sere eni nwa kupo ni ya ide ebe di chiche enu bo sin keta isi na nwa ya dera ni ibo na mma na ya ri ke echi na echi ya da gwa gwa Um, if I na boya bifa wo teru no bosin ka ta bifa na we bo morning tea ni dwa kwo e ya bo basta maka ya biye ne me na obuda ino ni mia ana basta maka ngolo wendi bona zo e di ko si de o woli e ah bia flam prime minister ku ni dwa kwo ngwe teru no kun ge ya bifa kun ge se ya bifa na ti ya lo nko ni funu chedo basta maka ye nda ni me o huga si ni dwa kwo di chiche no bosin ka ta na morning tea Um, the key in a gear beef, drop what are your own comment in it? What for other one? All right, over to you, sir. Even during the Biafra Declaration of Independence in 1967, it was only few grievances that was listed, only some grievances that were listed during the Biafra Declaration of Independence. Today, we are adopting every grievances, listing them against Nigeria state. That has never been done. In the history of Biafra until now, I want people to understand, especially those illiterate who are on the side of the IPOB Nigeria. You know, the kind of confession that we put into them is very amazing. You will see the people supporting the drug lords, Nigeria Tunubu, shouting, Samonekwa, go and die. This is that. You will see the IPOB Nigeria shouting, Samonekwa is working for Tunubu, is working for Nigeria government. <laughs> Have you ever seen any confusion like that? Have you seen any confusion like that? Why the Afrontas are crying that I am destroying every plan of their ogas in Nigeria, within the Nigeria state? The IPOB in Nigeria, they are shouting and working for Nigeria. <laughs> Why Nigeria is crying? That is the highest confusion. They don't know what is going on because they never believe that Nigeria can be challenged. You know how they address Nigeria? The most populous country in Africa. The biggest economy in Africa, the giant of Africa, the this and that, the evil entity is going down. They never believe that Nigeria can be challenged until today. Nigeria terrorist army never believed that Biafrans can actually volunteer to, you know, risk their life to defend others. They thought everybody loved money. They thought every Biafra want life. They want everybody want to live. They never believe that people can actually sacrifice their life for others. Nigeria never believe it. But today, it is happening. Volunteers of the Biafra Defense Forces are sacrificing their life for others. And this is unimaginable to the Nigerians. They never believe that a day like this will come. Where people can actually give selfless service. Where people can become patriotic. Where you can see people dying for what they believe in. And it is very, very surprising to the Islamic Nigeria state. I'll give you an example of this declaration, even the recent one of Donetsk Act of 2014, Luhansk Act of 2014. This declaration named violation of state committed against the city unit, including human rights abuses, act of genocide, discrimination, and breach of agreement justifying their call for international recognition or, or remedy or a media ground. That's exactly what Biafrans we are going to do. Our own is more and worse than whatever Luhansk and Donetsk ever experienced. We have experienced appetite in Nigeria against Biafra people. We have experienced genocide. We have experienced discrimination. We are victim of all the crimes you can think of. And that is exactly what the drafting declaration drafting committee are working on and this particular grievances that we are listening in the declaration is going to justify our declaration on the 2nd of december 2024 and again after that we will move a very aggressive campaign for international recognition for a media ground i want their friends to understand that you can't what exactly foundation have you laid in the past for biafra to come nothing are you going to just 
Say, UN, come and give me freedom. Come on. No, without any foundation, without organizing yourself. No. The dead Buhari told you that, dear friends, if you want freedom, if you want freedom go and organize yourself. And people did not actually understand what he said. And he himself did not actually know when he said it. I watched him. Of course, then I was one Nigeria. I looked at this man. I laughed. <laughs> I said, don't worry. The day I will join this Biafra struggle, you will know what you have said. So what else do you need to, to, to know that the Biafra people have rejected Nigeria and they are only loyal to the Biafra government? Their hope of a new beginning and new life is on the government of Biafra. So my people, after the declaration in Finland, what do you expect? What you are going to expect is that we will officially communicate our declaration to the Nigeria state, demanding the recognition and acceptance of the self-referendum. Not only that, we are not sending it to Nigeria state for them to accept. They are never going to accept, and we know that. We will also communicate the African Union, even when we don't even like them. We will also communicate ECOWAS, even when we don't like them. We will officially communicate all these institutions seeking the approval of what we have done in exile, the history that we have done. And we will also officially communicate the United Nations through our international partners. We are not doing all these things for them to agree immediately, no. But believe me, we will release hell on Nigeria. <laughs> After this December 2nd, we will release hell on Nigeria. I want you people to focus on the ORB report where they say after this declaration, after the self-referendum of Biafra, there is going to be two options. That Nigeria will either issue a political statement that is when we have officially communicated Nigeria demanding the recognition and acceptance of the Biafra self-referendum. Nigeria will either issue a political statement or ignore a political statement and use it and come militarily. We are already used to the military activities of Nigeria state for the past three years. We, only have, we are only going to increase and escalate it. And like I said, we choose how we find this. So my, my fellow Bia friends, I have a lot to tell you on the upgrade of what respect. So that when, when you are discussing with people, you can defend yourself and defend the government and defend what we are doing when you have knowledge of what we are doing and what is to come. If you are in argument with all these idiots, you can be able to tell them what we are doing and what we are going to do. So I believe this small clarification and update on the declaration coming 2nd of December have put you in the right track. Immediately after this declaration, what follows next? I am re repeating it again so that it will sink inside the head of even the Dundees. That one, we will write Nigeria officially, informing Nigeria of what Biafra have done, giving the result of the self-referendum to Nigeria state, demanding the recognition of Biafra as an independent state, demanding the acceptance of the self-referendum, also demand the withdrawal of every Nigerian military and institution in the Biafra territory. We are not expecting them to do that, but we're going to write them officially so that it will go into, inside, into history book. Two, we will officially write the AU, ECOWAS, and all international organizations, and you will know it in days to come. We have gotten recognition from all African countries. And those who call us their friend will extend our friendship and our hand of friendship to them. Biafra is the lie of Africa. So thank you, my PM. You are most welcome. And uh, I will pass to you because you are the next to uh, speak to us and uh, let Australia hear your voice, Your Excellency. Um, yeah, friends, put those hands together. The PM is here. Your hands together. Welcome, PM. There, one of us. Oh, look at my tongue.
Yes. Yes, sir. You are you are center stage now, sir. Go ahead, sir. Hey, no Good afternoon, fellow Bia France all over the world. Good afternoon, Bia France in Australia. I thank you all for inviting me today uh, and participating in this particular historic tour again, once again. My speech today and my message today to the Biafra people is the continuation of the enlightenment and awareness on our multi-dimensional approach to the liberation of Biafra. And today I will be sharing just small history about how we have managed to dismantle Nigeria today using the multidimensional approach. And I'm going to take solace from Israel. My fellow Biafrans, do not allow Nigeria terrorist state nor their agent and their fleet to tell you you can't get your freedom. I am here to tell you that we are going to get our freedom and we are going to do everything possible for this particular freedom to be achieved. And I'm going to share it with you the story of Israel, which everybody knows about Israel, but many people do not know what Israel went through. And I will start with a man called Teto Hazel. The Theodore Hazel was, should I say, a founder of the Zionist movement. Hazel was an Austro-Hungarian Jewish. He was a journalist, a lawyer, writer, and a political activist who was the father of the modern political Zionism. Many people are only hearing Israel, Israel, but they don't know what actually transpired that led to Israel becoming an independent state. Hazel formed the Zionist organization and promoted Jewish immigration to Palestine in an effort to form a Jewish state, in an mm. effort to form a, a Jewish state. Today, there is a Jewish state called Israel, state of Israel. Due to his Zionist work, he is known in the Hebrew cousin, a visionary of the state. He is specifically mentioned even in the declaration of Israel, Israel independence, this man was mentioned and is officially referred to as the spiritual father of the Jewish state. It is very important that our people, both especially the gullible ones, understand that your gullibility cannot stop the liberation of Biafra this year. Hazel was born in Pest, Kingdom of Hungary, to a prosperous newly Jewish family. After a brief legal career in Vienna, he became the Paris correspondent of the Viennese newspaper. He confronted the anti Semitic event in Vienna. I hope you understand what anti Semitism means. He reached the conclusion that anti Jewish sentiment would make Jewish assimilation impossible. This man single handedly rose up, stood up because of the anti Jewish activities across the world. He stood up, one man. And in 1896, Hazel published the pamphlet, The Judean Start, in which he elaborated his vision 
for a Jewish homeland. Because of the attack, the anti-Jewish anti-Semitism, he had a vision. His ideas attracted international attention and rapidly established Hazel as a major, major figure in the Jewish world. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Are you seeing some similarity in what we are doing today? The kidnap of Mazin and Kano and the rise of Simon Ekpa and the Biafra government in exile. In 1897, Hazel convened what we call the first Zionist Congress in Basel. First ever. My fellow Biafrans, do you see some similarity? In 2023, we had the first ever Biafra Convention in Finland. First ever in the history of our freedom fighting. This man convinced the first ever Zionist Congress in Basel, Switzerland. In Switzerland, and was elected the president of the Zionist organization. He began a series of diplomatic initiatives. I am talking about 18 something, when Usman Danfodio was conquering the northern Nigeria. When Usman Danfodio was killing the Alsace, this man was busy having a vision for a Jewish state of Israel. And then he began the diplomatic initiative to build support for Jewish state. I am telling you that we are not land anywhere. But that was a vision. That was a vision and they pursued the vision. Some people who don't know anything how the world works will be telling you today who is the government, which is government is supporting you, which state is supporting you, which, how can somebody support you when you are showing that you are an idiot? How can somebody support you when you are dependent on people and you have no thinking of your own? How can people support you when you have shown to be a slave to ordinary nomadic people who don't know what is civilization? But today, we have changed the narrative. Now they understand we are not slave to nomadic. Now they understand there must be a need to support the liberation and the freedom of Biafra. Now they understand that people of integrity have risen up to show that Biafra has people of integrity and standard. He began a series of diplomatic initiatives to build support for Jewish state, appealing unsuccessfully to German emperor. He appealed to German emperor, was not successful. And Ottoman Sultan he appealed to all these people, was, he was unsuccessful. At the sixth Zionist Congress in 1903, they have had the first one, the first, the second one, the third one, and the sixth one in 1903. Hazel presented the Uganda scheme. He even went as far as trying to build the state of Jewish state in Uganda of today. Are you aware of that? Are you aware that Israel had a vision to establish a state in Uganda? Present day Uganda. That is people, I don't know how many of you, and of course, the global ones who are looking at what we're doing today are stupid and whatever. I don't know how many of them are aware of this, that Israel wanted to establish a state in Uganda, present Uganda. Championed by Hazel. This was endorsed by Colonial Secretary Joseph Chamberlain on behalf of the British government. The proposal, which sought to create a temporary refugee for the Jews, ultimately rejected. Hazel died, this man died at the age of 44 in 1904 and was buried in Vienna. Now, 
Let us also go fast forward after the Hazel attempt to establish the state of the Jewish state in Uganda, which was supposed to be the temporal refugee uh, place because of the anti-Semitism, anti-Jewish that was on rampage all over the world, just like they are trying to annihilate the Afras because of the light we carry. Are you surprised that what we are facing today in Nigeria is exactly what the Jewish people face all over the world? Then, Israel Declaration of Independence. I want you people to understand that the Declaration of Independence State of Israel was signed by 38 individuals. 38, 38 signed the document of the Declaration of State of Independence of, of Israel. Are you aware of that? Are you aware that it was only 38 people that signed to declare Israel as an independent state? You don't know. Now you are knowing it today. I'm explaining to you. Formally, declaration of the establishment of State of Israel was proclaimed on the 14th May, 1948, by a man called David Ben Gurion, the executive head of the World Zionist Organization. The Zionist organization that this Hazel founded chairman of the Jewish LJC for Palestine, and later the first prime minister of Israel. It declared the establishment of a Jewish state to be known as the State of Israel, which would come into effect on termination of the British mandate. Our own British mandate terminated in 2014. That was when the British mandate terminated. When they say you have 100 years after that, we decide. Nobody is talking about the agreement and how Nigeria become a country from amalgamation to the independence to fake independence to today present Nigeria. They put it under the carpet because nobody has risen up to challenge them. Nobody has risen up to question the existence of Nigeria until now. We are questioning it under the Biafra government in exile. I will question it with gun, we will question it with bomb, we will question it with, civil, with civility, we will question it diplomatically, and we will question it politically. And that is the multi dimensional approach. That thing they are avoiding to discuss, that particular existence of Nigeria, on continuation of Nigeria, they have been avoiding to discuss, will be forced to discuss. They will be forced with the activities and the actions of the Biafra government in 2024. That's where we are going. That's why all these shenanigans, all this their uh, regional government, all this nonsense you see happening are happening today. And they have not actually started hitting the point because the point remain the continual existence of Nigeria as a country. They are not discussing it. What was the agreement of 1914? What was the agreement day after? Independent. What happened for after the 100 years of Nigeria? Nobody is discussing it. And we have seen Nigeria has become the worst and evil state. A terrorist state it has become, and such state should not be allowed to stay even the next minute. That's why Biafra has decided to fight their way out, not, this, not the type of war we fought in the 67. That was a very big lesson that we have learned. And today we are fighting differently. I am telling you, if this liberation of Biafra is going to take us the next 20 years after the 2nd of December, we are ready for it. But let us continue so that you understand how freedom is fought. Because many of you who have been in this struggle for the past 20 years actually was following people who do not know what they are doing. And it either they were being sabotaged, especially from Azin Ambikano, who set up the indigenous people of Biafra, surrounded himself with criminals who were not actually fighting for freedom. Now, 
the event of the termination of the British mandate, Israel immediately wanted to declare their independence. Immediately that termination of the British mandate, on the same night, the event is celebrated annually, the Declaration of Israel. Now, let me also inform you that the possibility of a Jewish homeland in Palestine had been a goal of the Zionist organization, the Zionist founded by Hazel since the late 19th century. In 1917, British Foreign Ministry Arthur Belfort stated in a letter to the British Jewish community leader, Walter Lord, that His Majesty government views with favor the establishment in Palestine of a national home for the Jewish people. And we use the best endeavor to facilitate the achievement of this object. It's being clearly understood that nothing shall be done which may prejudice the civil and religious right of existing non-Jewish community in Palestine or the right and political status enjoyed by Jews in other countries. A woman again, Daluline no umife, Kunisi when a solar in Eastern is twenty-four, no bossing Katina, where morning tea. Una nugunu ya beefe, Bogodeoka, ya beefe, a maze, a Simon Nepa, Bobia from Prime Minister, or Bia from Public Government in Ezai. Ali ko si dun na fuko si ada ni rapo. Eh kene ki wali ku basta makaya bi fenda ni no fuga si ni rapo di chiche eh drop on ya on the comment section below. Also the poki bi abobu na nka abobu si zgi na esiri la ni rapo. O ina fu ya bi onyonyo ai kabalo ke like ya ya. Antono on no notification share ku ya ko de ku ndozo munai di ne be di chiche aka. Da lu din ni bomo ne gente. Okay, now that I know, when you do your partner, you know, but I'm going to see you in the next one.